Where is he? Where is little man? There he is. And as you guys can tell, we made it to London. Woohoo! Which is exciting. Actually, you can't tell. Let me turn around so you can tell. That is the Tower Bridge. Right there. Um, our hotel is back that way. We're staying at the Dixon. Um, it's a lot fancier than I was expecting it to be, but I'm not gonna complain. Thank you, Marriott Reward Points. Not sponsored by Marriott, but you know. Anyways, I'm gonna meet my friends for dinner soon. Well, actually, we're gonna meet our friends for dinner soon. We have about an hour or so before we meet up with them, so we're gonna go for a walk along the Tower Bridge, kind of explore the area around our hotel, and then meet up with them for some Indian food. That's not right. It is an Uber boat! What? <laughs> I didn't know there was an Uber boat. Um, what do they call it? The, um, egg building. No, 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 not the egg building. I'm talking about the Four Peaks. Oh, that's the Tower of London. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it's over there. You guys want to see it? That's the truck. <laughs> that's the Tower of London. Hence the Tower Bridge. The Four Peaks. And that is the egg building. Where's the egg building? Over there. Next to the Tower Bridge. No, next to the Tower of London. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the egg building. Sorry, I can't. It's, I'm disoriented because I'm looking backwards. And I don't know what the rest of the names are. this is the other part of <coughs> the bridge, and it's really pretty. I think it's been like since 2009 since they've been out of the London airport, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, look! Those are they tried to draw the buildings in because they're older. Yeah. See the difference? Oh yeah. Interesting. Oh, pretty cool. And there's the Tower of London again. <laughs> we haven't gotten too far, have we? Nope. Slow moving. Mm -hmm. And the triangle cone. That, my friends, is the Tower of London. And that right there is the fancy royal robot lawnmower. Babe, can we get one of these lawnmowers? I have no objection to getting an electric lawnmower. <laughs> I, I'm totally in favor of getting it. I assume it's a royal lawnmower. Royal lawnmower. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day, and we just wake up at Dixon, and we're here having breakfast. Well, we're having coffee, because breakfast hasn't come yet. Mister, how are you doing this morning? Doing good. What have you got? I just got some nice breakfast tea. Mm. And Mama has had a breakfast couple of days, as you guys are aware, if you guys have been watching the series, so I've got an oat milk latte, and Mr. Fancy Pants Little Man over here has got two drinks. He has, um, steamed soy milk was all frothy so he basically thinks it's a latte and he got some tea and he's kind of mixing them together to make a tea latte. He's playing with his food. He's playing with his food. He's going to make a mess. Yeah, he is going to make kind of a mess. Cool. Yeah. Anyways, we've got some full English veggie breakfast coming. We're going to have avocado toast with all the other stuff including some veggie sausage so I'm hoping that it's pretty good. We'll see what happens. I want to go down. You want to go down like that? Right. I want, I want to show Mama. Oh, you want to film Mama? Get all my good angles. Yeah, right up the nose. I'm sure that's a good one. <laughs> Here you go. No. Papa. Look. Hey, Hello. All right. So, breakfast is accomplished and we are currently crossing the Tower Bridge. I don't know if you guys can see. I know you guys just saw it a couple of clips ago. But, as you can see, we have a very misty day today. Mister thinks that it's fog. And I guess it'd be, it might be pollution, but I'm not completely sure. But it's still a beautiful morning. It's sunny, it's warm, you know, for October. And we're going to basically just go sightseeing today. I think we're gonna go, we definitely have reservations for the British Museum. So we're gonna go there for sure. We're gonna walk by where? St. Paul Cathedral. Yes, and a lot of other places. Um, you know, it's crazy. I was talking about this mister at breakfast with our friends last night. This is my fourth time actually into the city of London, and I honestly haven't seen much of anything because the first time was for one day for sightseeing, and all we did was go and see Big Ben and members of Parliament and Westminster Abbey. Um, and the only two times I've been here, it's been to go to the archives. So, totally new experience. The funny thing is like I feel like I've been to London so many times and I kind of know how to get around and everything but I've never actually seen London which is kind of weird to me but anyways let's have a walk. Yeah it is a church. 
Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Really, really. Ooh, pretty. It would be prettier if there wasn't mist. Daddy's dorking out on architecture. I think you're adorable. We're here, we're here. Look. It's actually not that pretty of a building in comparison. Pillars but, cool. Yeah, the pillars are really cool. They're, I think, Ionic style is what it's called. It's been a while since I took any um, architecture classes, but I think it's Ionic style. Feel free to correct me. Okay, we're going in, going in to see the number one reason we're here, which is the Rosetta Stone, which is in front of us right now. Um, some people just queue jumped us, but it's right in front of us. It's right here. Mom is a little history buff. What is it? A um, man hut and his friend and statue of Mary. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's an official. Good job. Ancient Hello, sir. It looks like he has like a tumor. Or maybe he's just really happy to see us. <laughs> I mean, this would have to be a recipe, right? Instructions uh, say what? Okay, okay. So from the top, in sunlight, mix into a bowl, add some water, mix thoroughly, Okay. add one dough. Okay, interesting. Add some pasta. Okay, pasta, got it. Add an owl and more mm -hmm. pasta. Okay. Make sure to add more water. Mm -hmm. Add another owl. Okay. Heat firmly. I mean, not firmly, but heat well. Okay. Uh, put a branch in the in the bowl. Okay. Put it on the plate. Okay. Use the more owl. Mm hmm And roll it. Okay. Roll it out. Take a break. And take a rest. Oh, That's okay. It. I see how it's a chair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Firmly grate together. Uh, I don't know what you're grating, but you're grating something. Okay. You're grating stuff in the bowl. On, on, mm -hmm. See, it's, it's, you're grating on the platform. Oh, I see. Okay, onto the platform. Okay. Got it. Now roll it, and then uh, uh, put it into a bigger bowl. Oh. Wait a certain amount of time, and serve. Oh, serve. That makes sense. On mm -hmm. the table. On the table. Good job, what babe. What Yes, I'm glad someone can interpret these hieroglyphics hey, for us. I gotta be good for something. Right? Yeah. See something in there? A big hole. Big bathtub. You gonna take a bath in there? I should look. Ooh, it's a very pretty bathtub. Yeah. Although I hate to break it to you, it's not exactly a bathtub. Yeah, it's a sarcophagus. It's very pretty in the inside. So you know, whoever was buried in it could enjoy the beautiful artwork in the dark. What am I looking at? So first, you get to take a bath, yep. and then you have surgery, yep. and they bones. put you in some salt, and they give you a good rub down. No, they fill you, they fill you with that stuff. Fill you up with stuff, wood shavings. And then they give you a good rub down, and then they wrap you up in band-aids. Basically. Yeah, I mean that's the Reader's Digest version, but yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. And there's Cleopatra. Well, a Cleopatra. I don't know if it's the Cleopatra. Very fancy and pretty. I guess you would call it a modern mummy in comparison. That was the coffin, one of the coffins. You guys might notice the picture on the face is the same as the one on the coffin. That's how we know that they two stayed together. Oh, that's a house hippo. <laughs> Tomb hippo. You know, I don't always think that these scholars are correct. And the reason I think that is this is supposed to be a courtroom sign or scene, courtroom scene. Yet, yeah, you see that guy, it's more like, hang on, let me hold your hair so I can throw up in that bowl. Looks like that guy also fell and hit the pavement. <laughs> Looks kind of like my kid right now. Poor buddy. It's the Easter Island statue. 
I don't know why I thought it would be bigger. There it is. Double headed serpents are Mesoamerican mythology. It's so made of turquoise out of a lot of different pieces. Ready? Woo! Hi! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> are you I'll go climb. You're gonna climb, huh? Oh, hey, okay, sit down. If you're gonna sit, be up here, you need to sit, okay? I want to. Um, so we are outside of the British Museum. We were in there for, I would say, two hours or so. Nine and three. It's three o'clock, is it? Oh my goodness, wow. We were in there for almost three hours then. Thank you for it's telling me, I didn't know. Anyways, the uh, only thing we didn't get to see we wanted to see was the Greek galleries, which were closed on, well not all of them, but a significant portion of the Greek and Roman galleries were closed on the first floor and second floor, so we had to skip that part of the museum. But kind of tired, like a little man said, it's about three o'clock, and um, I don't know if we're gonna get to do any more museums today, but I do wanna have a walk around Westminster, and I need to get some clothes for little man, hopefully unique well, because if it hasn't surprised you, little man is Asian and the clothes just fit him a little bit better. And so we're just kind of enjoy the London day, have a little bit of dinner probably, head back to the hotel and probably sleep. So I'll take you guys along for all of that. I just wanted to update you guys on how our day is going and where we're going next. Hello Kitty London. <laughs> all right. Mm. All right. What do you want? Hello, See how big you are. Oh, yeah, I would say you need a 130, my friend. In there, all right. Hmm. You're scared. I wonder where he is. Is he in here? No. Is he in here? I found you. Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me, but um, we are having a little snack break. We're at a takeaway sushi place called Wasabi, and they have a couple of vegan options. One I'm most excited about is the vegan salmon roll. They call it salmon, and it actually looks pretty good. I'll show it to you guys. It even has like lines on it, like animal glazed salmon. I don't know how I feel about that, but it does look really real. And then we got a veggie box to share. Wow, but way much too much wasabi on that one. I don't know if it tastes like salmon or not. It's been a long time, but it does taste pretty good. Just try it by itself. I have no idea if the texture is right, but it kind of reminds me of I don't know what they're called, but. In Japan, how you get those little like seaweed sashimi type things that are made with like sea water. Um, kind of similar to that, except not quite as wiggly and slimy. So it's pretty good. Uh, so we are inside the lush Oxford Street store. And everything in here is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the lush Metro Kia one in Shinjuku. They have a beautiful fresh flowers section in front of me and multiple stories. And they're exclusive, she said, all over the shop. So we're going to walk around together and we're going to find them. the cutest mirror ever. Oh, they have the big ones. I wonder. Oh, there's nothing in them. Oh, you get to fill them up yourself with flowers. That's cool. We're going up. We're going up. This display looks very familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's the cool section. We're gonna go this way. It really does look a lot like the Harajuku and Shinjuku locations. Look. Well, you can't see me, but you don't need to see me. <laughs> Definitely, they even said downstairs that it was modeled after it, so that makes complete sense that it would look pretty much exactly the same.
the Lush store now. That was quite the experience and a lot of fun. Um, would I recommend a trip to London specifically for this store? No. Um, it has a lot of the same ideas of stairs as far as like the Lush Harajuku store, so I feel like it's pretty much the same thing. Um, they even said it's not an option, so that makes sense. They have some exclusive products, so if you're coming for specifically one of those products, which I'll have shown you guys clips of already, um, I would say go for it. But otherwise, it's pretty much all the same stuff, just put in really pretty casing. But I'm glad I went. I'm probably gonna come back just because I can't help myself next time I'm in London. But yeah, I think we're gonna have a walk now and grab some dinner. There he is, friends. All covered up. Big Ben and his covered up scaffolding glory. Just kidding, you can see it a little bit right here on this side only. <laughs> That's nice, so you can at least see part of it. Your entire trip was not lost, baby. No, it was not. I saw it. I'm so happy. I saw the clock. That's the number one reason that he is here. Pathetic, I know. Hey, I used to call Big Ben in my, back in my... Actually, no, that's not true. I used to call Benjamin Franklin, not Big Ben. The kids I knew when I was in elementary school used to call me Ben Franklin all the time. And like, Rude. But I mean, he's a, he was a relatively I honorable was, man, depending on who you ask. Ben, not a bad uh, copy. <laughs> yeah. And the London Eye is over here behind me, but I don't think that it's running because it hasn't moved since we started walking on the bridge. Hi! Oh, you want cuddles, huh? Thank you. So, uh, we are at a restaurant now. It's the end of the day and our feet are really tired and we're quite a distance from our hotel. So we stopped by this little Indian restaurant. It's pretty tiny in here. Um, it's like got 12 tables in it, which is not very many for a restaurant. It's not even 12, I think it's like nine or 10 tables. And it's a little family owned restaurant and we just ordered some chana masala and vegetable curry and some bread and some drinks. So we're gonna just hang out and eat our dinner and head back to the hotel. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> I love you. I love you too. Are you reading? What? Oh, you're coloring. Hey guys. Um. So as you guys can tell, we are in the car again because unfortunately our time in London is coming to a close, and I'm very sad. Mister, did you have a good time? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, what was your favorite thing about London? Um, I'm more of an architectural person. I just love seeing all the different neat um, old styles. It's really cool. Yeah, and I think my favorite thing was probably, aside from seeing our friends that you guys didn't see, um, it's probably seeing the Rosetta Stone because it's seriously cool. Um, anyways, we are heading home now, and this morning when I was getting ready, I realized I never closed out the vlog, so I thought perhaps I should come on this morning and do that. So, um, don't know how many videos I'm going to be making in this little Oxford, London, Southern vacation series. I think it's going to be three. I'm not really sure, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this one and all of them. I'll put all those ones up in the cards in the description for you if you guys want to see them. Um, but otherwise, we are all set for now. So hope you guys enjoyed this little series and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.